email query next shankar has written in and he says that he wants to buy a plot in bengaluru now he wants to know who he should approach for a loan he adds that he doesn't have a bank account in bengaluru but shankar we live in the age of digital banking uh, what should he do harshil uh, there are two different things all together uh, shankar as far as uh, buying a plot in bengaluru is concerned uh, you can uh, walk across uh, to any any bank or uh, housing finance company uh, and apply for a loan as uh, if you have already uh, you know uh, seen a plot and you you have liked it and it fits into your budget you can apply for a loan now as far as the bank account is concerned uh, that's not an issue as kavita just mentioned yeah, we are living in a in a digital uh, world and today most of us also carry the bank in our pocket by way of a bank app uh, with with us so uh, it really doesn't matter because most of the banks or housing finance companies will actually opt for an ecs uh, payment of your emis so it really doesn't matter what is important is identify the plot and 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 uh, you can apply for a loan to any bank or housing finance company you know uh, before we move on now of course he's asking about a plot but if you are looking at a pure home loan in, and that too for a flat in a building now a lot of developers tie up with banks a lot of uh, projects are advertised as being approved by uh, certain banks uh, does it make sense to you know approach these particular banks or housing finance companies and what does it mean if say a bank or a housing finance company is really approved a project does it mean that the due diligence has been completely done i can close my eyes and blindly sign on the dotted line does it also mean that i'll get a better deal from that bank or housing finance company uh <clears throat> kavita there are two things to this one is yes if the project is already approved i would say that yes that normally that bank or housing finance company would have already done the due diligence but let's also understand one thing uh, the ultimate uh, responsibility of really ensuring uh, that the property is appropriate still lies with the customer you know he if he wants he can double check by asking the documents from the from the builder or developer but yes having said that if it is already an approved project it definitely brings some amount of credibility to the project in terms of you know whether uh, the layout is approved whether the construction is as per the approved plans you know whether the title is clear and various other aspects other aspect is also there that when it comes for disbursement a lot of it is also streamlined along with the developer because the project is already approved so when you just go with a demand letter which comes from the developer and as long as your pre emi interest and all that are are uh, you know on schedule then the payment just uh, you know gets processed easily so yes there are there are inherent benefits uh, in terms of operational ease for both the customer and the bank and the developer when it comes to approved projects you've not answered my other question you just side stepped it does it mean that i get a better deal out of home loan well it, uh, uh, as far as the better deal is concerned it also depends on whether the developer you see many times you have those 2080 schemes right mm -hmm. so yes if you if you have those schemes uh, it is definitely beneficial in many times in certain projects there are things like there are nil processing fees you know so yes uh, uh, the many times it does uh, help the customer so right so the better deal of course varies from project to project but the key takeaway that all you buy Uh, you know what tuning into the show need to remember is that a bank or an hfc approval it lends credibility but it is not a guarantee that the project is above board you need to do your own due diligence do not sign those papers blindly ideally go ask for all the approvals as a developer for all the approvals and get that agreement looked at by a lawyer before you sign the dotted line You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now, and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.